Hello, boys and girls, my name is Halter C and welcome back to Bellless Factorio, where we have managed to send off a few rockets, but I fear our satellite um, backlog is running out, even if we manage to uh, produce enough uh, rocket parts for more rockets. And the reason behind that, I would guess, circuits. Yes. We are still waiting for the blue ones so we can craft more, uh, more satellites. And since a few episodes, we have been uh, tweaking uh, our network to improve it. The first thing we did was vertical scaling by applying uh, productivity to the various um, systems uh, that use uh, blue circuits. And we also moved all our green circuit production up here, so everything is close together, close to the iron, close to the copper. So we shortened the distances the train have to go. We also moved the waiting bay right next to it. So what's next? Well, there is still a bit of uh, clean up. We have here a bit of backlog of uh, copper wire. Um, and then here We have a bit of an overflow of uh, of iron. Um, otherwise, it's copper wire that's backed up. Uh, down here, I already removed the copper wire production. And here, we have a bit too much iron plates in there. So maybe grab a bit of... Uh, copper wire from there put it down there to consume the remaining amount of, of iron um, and then we can clean up this as well but then we probably all sh sh should look into moving the red circuits up here I was thinking we do that um, in this square here because we need the green um, the green circuits but we also need plastics so we we have to cross uh, at least one horizontal line anyway and if we do it um, in a efficient manner then we can uh, reduce the, uh, the amount of travel that is needed for it to accomplish but i think uh, let's first see that we can rip off uh, the old factories up here um, and then um, we can see about more production down here or moving that up as well um, what we might want to do is disable the delivery stations so that uh, the remaining uh, materials are consumed and uh, we have an easy way of uh, switching over the setup to the new one. While I have been cleaning up here, well, most of the green circuit production is gone. We still have a bit of uh, copper wire backlog, but up here we seem to have a bit of a, a train issue and the reason that i saw 
was that we do have down here no was it this one green circuit delivery waiting station so trains that want to deliver for the green circuits after loading the copper wire and the iron plates have to go all the way down and that of course is not a good thing because we want to have everything up here to have short train rides uh, for the material um, so trains going down there just for the waiting babe we have to change that so let's head up here and see if we can squeeze in another waiting bay here alongside one that we already have that's the copper wire so i'm thinking uh, let's copy this one for the green circuits for the pickup and see yeah i think we can squeeze that in there uh, and that would then be um waiting that's a bit down there waiting green circuits delivery and let's finish that and then we can disable the other one down there this one we will rename that to waiting x y so we know that this one can be reused so we should not have any trains going there anymore but we have now all the trains going here and we already have the the first train waiting here um this is actually a good sign because they all want to unload their materials for a green um, circuit production so that indicates that we are delivering enough yep new train just just arrived and by the nature of things, um, we do fill up with iron plates first and uh, then copper wire because we need more copper wire here and we move them with stack inserters so they are actually moved faster out to where they are needed. But then I'm thinking with the uh, uh, copper wire production up here the green circuit production probably prefers uh, to go to these copper wire stations and the only other thing where we need copper wire is for the uh, red circuits uh, which where we have stopped deliveries so it looks pretty dire that we will pick up anything from here unless um, let's disable two stations here and two stations here so I think that should then eventually force trains to go down here, pick up copper wire from there, so we can clean that up as well. And 
then another thing that uh, we should think about is uh, for green circuits everything happens up here for the delivery at least so um, the delivery trains should not have a reason to go anywhere else but they have for refueling so what I was thinking let's copy a refueling station up here somewhere and uh, uh, follow a similar pattern to one of these where we have a dedicated uh, train stop for um, for the iron plates and I think we make one or two up here somewhere and make it dedicated for the copper wires because that means we would fuel trains that go to for the green circuits but also for the red circuits that's where we need copper wire so uh let me let me fix that uh, rip this part out place in the uh the fueling stations and adjust all the schedules the copper and green circuits factories down there are resolved removed cleaned up however you want to call it and uh, up here we do have two um, loading stations for uh, fuel um, and it is inserted i think before we go for copper wire waiting uh, and while i was changing the schedules i noticed something else as you remember from the last segment it's not a good idea to have uh, trains that only operate up here to go down there for fuel for example but also for a waiting bay and we still have waiting bays for uh, iron and for copper down here they are six they're a bit longer but all our fields are up here so basically they have to make quite a journey so what I was thinking is let's do a waiting bay in here and we probably can only oh, we can squeeze in to here um and there it has to go back on itself and have the same thing here and we need stations here and here we need thing there and there and then let's figure out the proper spacing here once we here and here yep and here and here and 
and here on this line we can even have another one yes that barely fits in so that's one two three four five and four and we will make these two the copper waiting base so let's copy this to here and here here we have to change it to four not uh, 54 and this can be five and then basically we will do the same thing here again um, actually can I copy this this should be possible and all that I need to do then is copy the iron waiting bay and paste it here and here this one is the five and this one is the four and with that we can then basically say here this one you're obsolete and you you're obsolete as well so that should solve even more problems and you can see we have uh, some trains already waiting here and I think while we are up here let's try to connect these rails up here that was one too much that going there and then we need um, signal here and there yep and then just have it based out here three long let's also put in the power nice and then we will copy this part so we can have it here and here and then I think that the last thing uh, we do is we take this station here yeah this is all nicely set up. 
copy this station here. And we shall have it. Shall we have it here? Yeah. I think we can have it here. Okay, out of rails, but I have quite a few of the materials that we need for the factory there uh, in my pockets. So I will just run over there uh, and um, then see about uh, those rails. Because my pockets are quite full and i think i have even more things here in my car so let's finish this up and uh, again hopefully in the end of this episode we can uh, switch over production uh, for red circuits to this one probably uh, we need to deal with some things down here. Yeah, looks like we have an uh, overproduction or an oversupply of uh, copper wires and plastics, but we are missing green circuits. That's not that surprising i would say uh, let me finish this and um, then we can see about anything else all is in for red circuits up here and the old station is removed but we must remember we also have to move the uh, waiting stations uh, and anything else that we see so um, basically it makes sense to have the waiting bay for red circuits up here so we will just add that here on this line And then we need to go there. So then we will put the station as forward as we possibly can. Um, signal in front of it. And then here this signal, the next section ends here. Correct. Yes, that's correct. Then we have another section there. And here. Yes. And here's the last one. One, two, three, four, five. So let's see waiting bay red circuits waiting bay red circuits it's this one and we have a one more slot and we have to disable this one we only want to have the waiting bay up there right then do we have for these trains that deliver um, we do not have a waiting bay for the delivery These 
probably should not be disabled. We can actually get some materials delivered to here and start this uh, factory from pumping out red circuits, um, which we are currently lacking a bit. So if we look last hour, we crafted 900 and that's basically the ones that I am crafting here because uh, there was a bit of an imbalance uh, in the materials and I did not want to deal with all the plastics uh, lying around. Um, for green circuits we are looking pretty stable here um, uh, but we will see how we manage maybe in the next episode um, what we actually want to see is uh, I think yeah we want to see something like this, where we are plateauing out um, with the with the production. That basically means we have more items pushed into the factory than we can uh, use for production. Uh, so that then usually means, yeah, maybe you should add another factory. But that's definitely something for another day, because for this episode, we are at the end. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider leaving a like. If you like this kind of content, do subscribe. Um, I do quite a bit of this uh, quirky uh, stuff, not only in Factory, but also in Minecraft. So hope to see you. Goodbye.